Frederick D. Patterson was the first African American to own and operate a car manufacturing business. Not new for Mr. Patterson was being a noteworthy first. While a student at Ohio State University, he became the first African American to play on the school's football team. After college, he returned to Greenfield, Ohio in the late 1800s and joined his father in the family-owned horse-drawn carriage business, which later became C.R. Patterson & Sons. When his father died in 1910, Mr. Patterson took over the business. An astute entrepreneur, he recognized that the new horseless carriages presented his company with a golden chance to expand. Seizing this opportunity, he converted his company in the early 1900s from producing horse-drawn carriages to manufacturing automobiles and made 150 cars. In 1915, he became known for his Greenfield Patterson automobile that he produced in two styles, each costing about $850. Those two styles competed with the popular Model T being manufactured by Henry Ford. Mr. Patterson's business became so profitable that he made an even larger expansion and shifted to making buses and trucks. With his eye on the future, he created a steady customer base by building strong relationships with numerous school districts.